And guys, we're looking at an old Heil horseshoe unit. I'm just checking it out to make sure it's running properly. Old boy from 1993. So, take a look at her, see how she's doing. Voltage three by three. Right. See if those come back on again when we turn them back on. Our heat strips. Let's get some continuity through these strips before we start. Let's make sure our power does not make it through there with them off. Eleven point six ohms. That's good. Eleven point six ohms. Both the heat strips are intact. We have a limit switch. Limit switch should be closed. It is. Good. Now that switch is closed, we can hook up the zebra stab so we can run the machine. Common. Our red is 24 volts hot. Put these right on the terminal block. Thermostat inside is shut off. We have our green, which is our fan. Fan relay. So we've gone and bypassed the delay on brake. I guess it was busted. A Y, which is hooked up and broken through our power company box on top. Now our orange doesn't work, like I said before, but we're going to use purple for that. We don't really need it, but that's all right. We can get them. Orange, we want to see our W1. Make sure that that's the... See what we got here. Our W1 goes down. See one of our heat sequencers. The W2 goes to the other one. So the gray is W2. It looks like they're separated. Down here at the bottom, W1, W2. Then one of them well, let's see. One of them might go to the fan. Let's see that. Looks like one of them just goes through to the other sequencer, that's what it looks like. Like somebody did a little work on it and just sort of rigged up the sequencer there. All 
out. We'll turn this back on. Breakers, make sure they come back on. They've been around for a long time. We we'll gonna activate. Let's get our refrigerant gauges on there as well. They'll be on the other side. We'll take a peek at them in a minute after we get things started. Got our discharge line here. And our suction line on the back here. Compressor is the original. See, ICP's International Comfort Products. But sometimes I still call it by its original name, which is up here is Inner City Products. Interestingly enough, that is right in the way right there. So you can't even check it. Makes me think it's never been checked. A pressure of 60 pounds, which puts us around 35 degrees outside. Alright, we have our gauges hooked up. We can hook up. I have some Chinese clamp probes here. But my Chinese clamp probes, oddly enough, they were matched up evenly with the field piece, and the Hillmore was off by a few, which we can probably fix. But I'm not going to fix it right now. They are not a very durable feeling, but that's okay. Here they are. Here they are. And maybe not as tight as they are. All right, we're gonna turn those on. Both of them are reading 45 point something. That's good. All right, we're gonna turn our fan on. See if we turn this power back on. Old mercury motor. Oh, sorry, mercury motor, mercury thermostat. Might have to remedy that. Or it might not matter actually. When voltage is passing back through it, it turns the compressor on as well. So it should be a mercury thermostat inside. Some of the old mercury thermostats when you put the fan on, whenever it's not set inside, uh, it leaves a pathway back to turn the compressor on. So that's what's happened here. But it's fine because we want to run in heat mode anyway. So we're going to let it run for a few minutes. We'll check on the refrigerant pressure in our rough sounding compressor. Compressor sounds a little rough. Probably not long for this world. The clamps are a little bit weak as far as gripping the pipe. The smaller pipe has a hard time gripping them, especially with the vibration from the compressor. All right, we got heat one and heat two came on at the same time, getting their spliced together. I got five kW right now. We're gonna make sure that the other one comes on, and if it doesn't, we're gonna find out why.
Let's see what temperature we get because the grip on these Chinese ones is not very strong. I want you guys to watch very carefully what this compressor is doing and listen to the tenor while it's doing it. Guys, I just left the call where the compressor on the old Heil horseshoe is struggling. You see it's still pumping, not much loss of pressure as far as between the or the compression ratio. We had about 50 pounds on the low side, 200 on the high side. Not too outrageous for being as cold as it is today. So nothing crazy, you know, outside it's in the 40s to around 50. So not too often, basically. I told the customer that the compressor's failing uh, mechanically. I showed her what the discharge temperature was doing as it ran. You could hear the tenor of the compressor change and the discharge temperature would plummet uh, five or 10% of its value and then come back up again. So that's where her inefficiency is coming from. Other than that, the rest of the unit looks fine. The heat strips are in here. Fine is a relative term too, guys. Fine describes a unit that's 1993 but still functional. The rest of the unit is functional. Defrost is functional. When I put it into defrost, it ran up a head pressure of around 325, ran for a while, then clicked back. Defrost was a little violent sounding. The compressor's not doing that well off anyway. So now I am heading into town to go see if I can buy a compressor, not for this unit, for a different unit. CR 20K6 reciprocator compressor and take care of some odds and ends as far as paying my bills at East Coast and yada 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 and I will see you guys on the next